As the Roman Republic continued to teeter on the edge of collapse, Julius Caesar emerged as a prominent figure with ambitions of his own. Born at the turn of the century, Caesar was a skilled and ambitious general who sought to gain power and reshape the Roman political landscape. Caesar's rise to prominence began with his military conquests in Gaul, modern-day France, during the Gallic Wars from 58 to 50 BC. His successful campaigns and clever political maneuvering garnered him immense popularity and the loyalty of his soldiers. However, his increasing influence also made the Roman Senate wary of his intentions. In 49 BC, the Senate, led by Pompey and the conservative faction, ordered Caesar to disband his army and return to Rome. Fearing political persecution and seeing this as a threat to his power, Caesar crossed the Rubicon River with his army, which violated the law, and ignited a civil war known as the Great Roman Civil War. The conflict between Caesar and Pompey's forces was fierce and divided the Roman world. Ultimately, Caesar emerged victorious, and Pompey was defeated and killed in Egypt. Caesar returned to Rome as a triumphant leader and was appointed as a dictator, granting him unprecedented power. Caesar's rule was characterized by sweeping reforms and initiatives aimed at consolidating his power and improving the lives of the Roman citizens. He implemented land reforms, expanded citizenship, and initiated public works projects to provide employment opportunities. Additionally, he reformed the calendar, giving rise to the Julian calendar, which is the basis for the modern calendar we use today. Despite his popularity among the common people, Caesar's actions and growing power made him enemies within the Senate and among the Roman aristocracy. On the Ides of March, March 15, in 44 BC, a group of conspirators, including Brutus and Cassius, assassinated Caesar in the theater of Pompey, fearing that he was becoming too powerful and endangering the Roman Republic's traditional institutions. The assassination of Julius Caesar did not restore the old order as the conspirators had hoped. Instead, it led to further chaos and paved the way for a power struggle among his followers and political heirs. Mark Antony, Caesar's loyal ally, and Octavian, Caesar's adopted son and heir, emerged as the main contenders. In the aftermath of Caesar's death, a series of civil wars known as the Liberator's Civil War erupted between the supporters of the conspirators and those of Caesar's legacy. Ultimately, Octavian, Antony, and Lepidus formed the Second Triumvirate in 43 BC to consolidate their power and avenge Caesar's assassination. In 31 BC, the alliance between Octavian and Antony crumbled, leading to the Battle of Actium, where Octavian decisively defeated Antony and his ally Cleopatra, the last ruler of Egypt. This victory established Octavian, who later became known as Augustus, as the sole ruler of Rome. In 27 BC, Augustus became the first Roman Emperor, marking the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. Augustus' rule brought about a period of relative stability and prosperity known as the Pax Romana, Roman peace, but it also represented the final nail in the coffin for the once great Roman Republic. The Roman Republic, which had endured for over five centuries, had succumbed to internal strife, political corruption, and ambitious leaders, eventually giving way to the centralized and autocratic rule of the Roman Empire. Despite its demise, the legacy of the Roman Republic lived on, influencing subsequent governments and political systems for centuries to come.